My name is Sophie Nicole and this is Subnautica. My timer is going. I have <coughs> a red flavored carbonated beverage and a to-do list. A very short to-do list, but a to-do list. So, what the hell was that? I don't know what that was. Um, so anyway, Welcome it's been, board, Captain. yes, thank you. It's been a couple weeks, two, a, a bit over two weeks since I did any recording. Uh, in Subnautica, anyway. Um, by the time this airs, I should have another series starting uh, getting published, posted, uploaded, whatever the word is. Um, <coughs> until then, however, let's see how our fishies are doing. Just two so far because I only just put them in here even though it feels like it was a long time ago. Uh, I do need food. Do I have any food that's waiting for me? I do. I'm going to take one of those and some of those and we are going to eat, drink, and be merry. I'm going to grab one more of those because we're going on a trip today. Uh, at the end of the last episode, I believe I said we were going to visit Life Pod 2. And then we were going to go to the Blood Kelp Zone to gather rubies. Because there's one... Uh, where am I going? There's one in particular... Uh, mod, the depth module, I think, that I wanted to do that requires rubies, and I only have one right now. Oh, your health is one off. Can I... There we go, thank you. So, first on the list is life pod. So let's go do that. And then after we get our upgrades going, I think it would be a good idea to get the uh, Cyclops built because we're going to need that for the next stage. Well, we don't need it. It's going to be very helpful though for the next stage. Because the next stage is not getting distracted by the wreck. Oh, Jesus Christ. Um, the next stage is going down into the Lost River and doing some exploring there. Uh, now that we've seen the enforcement platform and uh, all of that, did we gain... Is it advanced theories? No. Data downloads, alien data, terminal data, scan, I don't think it was scan data, artifacts, no, I guess we didn't, um, codes and clues, oh yeah we did, right here, um, disease research facility in a cave system with extensive fossil record, and I believe we've reached an area that indicates that there's a region nearby with an extensive fossil record. I know where that is anyway because I've played the game a few times. And then thermal power facility even deeper in an area of intense volcanic activity. And then the rest of this is corrupted. Um, so yeah, this would be the next step. And I like to have a Cyclops when I'm doing that. So we're going to acquire a Cyclops. Which probably won't be this recording. 
Although it might be. Have I unlocked the Cyclops? I think I have. I have not. Fuck. Whoa! You fucking fucker. Um. Oh, this is one of those areas where the bone sharks are quite active. That's less than desirable. But that's okay. We will uh we will survive. Blood root. The blood root. It's related to the uh, blood kelp or blood vines, whatever they're called. Oh, this is in a blood kelp zone. Fantabulous. That means we can probably meet both of our um, objectives right here now. Two time capsules detected. Uh, the map is supposed to show... Bio map anyway. It's supposed to show... Where am I? Where am I? Um, me? Oh, right here. Duh. It's supposed to show where time capsules are. That's the TC designations that you... Like this. Time capsule. But I think maybe some of the details on this map are either not correct or not up to date. Um, oh, come on. Thank you. Uh, so, you know. Anyway, um, I ended up integrating new PDA data in my frustration after the last several episodes and my fuck up with those, I ended up uh, in my frustration starting up another save file and just sort of playing around without recording and uh, Uranonite and uh, I got a little further in that one than I did this one, so, you know, if I get confused, that's fine. Flotation devices failed. We're flooding. Evacuate. Wait. I can reconfigure the O2 system to act as a bilge pump. It's working. Okay, good news. We're alive and we've stopped sinking. Bad? The oxygen's going to run out in 30 minutes and we're 500 meters down. What do we do? We'll have to use the remaining juice to send a distress call and build whatever gear we can. Then we find a way to the surface. Yeah, that didn't go well. Especially since they're in this blood kelp zone surrounded by fucking bone sharks. Who are miraculously leaving me alone. Um... Yeah, I'm trolling around here looking for uraninite, but also mostly these rubies. Uh, I need at least three rubies, but I also need as many rubies as I can find. Because, you know, future projects. No. So you can find, um, that motherfucker just shooped into the wall. Um, you can find eggs for the ampules and the crab squid things. And you can put those in alien containment units and grow them. I would not suggest it. Well, the ampules I think should be fine, but I am given to understand that although they can give power to your habitat, they can also damage your habitat inadvertently from inside the alien containment unit. But once 
they have been taken out of the alien containment unit and placed outside and freed, I am given to understand the ampules are tame. They don't attack you, although if you get really close to them, they may still electrocute you. The crab squids, on the other hand, while they're in the alien containment unit, they will leave you alone for the most part, I think. But if you put them outside, they will become hostile and they will attack you all day long. So, you know, you don't want to do that. Um, so yeah, this is the blood kelp zone, or one of the blood kelp zones. Uh, the one that I was at before was over here, which is in this crevice. And, uh, it has a slightly different feel than this one, because this one is way more wide open, but it's also very deep, so it tends to be dark. Um, I'm getting kind of close to my depth limit here, and I'm, uh, I think this might lead to the Lost River, but I don't, I don't have enough depth to, uh, check that out, um, because I'm approaching the limit as it is. But yeah, this is the blood kelp zone. It's dark, and it's creepy, and it's fucking amazing. I'm still trolling around looking for, um, rubies and uraninite. I, I'd like as much uraninite as I can get. Realistically, I could put, like, a s small hab here, a uh, multi-purpose room, and, uh, uh, scanner room and like power it with uh bioreactor and use the scanner room to get a whole bunch of uraninite and uh rubies but that is i think a future project uh partly because Jesus, there's a lot of uraninite around here. Partly because, um... <laughs> ow. You little bastard. Fucker. Um... Blighter. They're like the biters, but they're, uh, different. Um... I have lost all track of what I was saying. Oh, the habitat down here to find stuff. The rubies and uraninite, I think, are also common in the Lost River. And I always put a habitat in the Lost River, so um, I may as well just deal with that there. And I'm finding enough fucking uraninite here that I'm going to be in uraninite for probably as long as I need it. Uh, have I unlocked the... the thingamajig nuclear reactor I have. Fantastic. Okay. Indoor grow bed. Um, I have unlocked that, so that's wonderful. Blood crawler. Oh yeah, I scanned one of those earlier, didn't I? That's the blood crawler. And then... Ghost weed! Yay! Has this been scanned? It has not been. This is a rouge cradle. Rouge cradle! Yay! Uh... I never have too much quartz. I'd like to get a couple of more, um, rubies, but I'm not finding very many. I say as I find one. So I upgraded my, um, voice changing software. 
Which, after a little testing, if my yes, if my testing was correct and I inter interpreted it correctly, uh, there should be significantly less delay between me saying something and it appearing Welcome aboard, Captain. in the video. Um, oh Jesus. There's a ceiling there. Um, so that's something worth mentioning. You, you probably already realize I upgraded the voice changer software though because like my voice is uh, a lot better and less robotic and more human sounding. Uh, or it should be anyway. <coughs> Which is nice. How many rubies does that give me? Six. You know what? I'm gonna troll around for another minute or so. And if I find another ruby, I find another ruby. If I don't, sucks to be me. We'll, we'll move on. Spine fish. I like to call them Halloween fish. Because of, you know, obvious reasons. They are. Halloween fish. Uh, and now we're getting into an area where we're going to see fewer rubies anyway, so let's go back down. Down, down, down. There are no burning rings of fire here. That would be impressive. Seeing all kinds of, uh, Quartz that I'm just bypassing after having said, oh yeah, we should uh, always pick up quartz. Oh, warper. Oh no. Can I get a scan off of you? Leave me alone. Let me just scan you. It's fine. It's non invasive. Don't worry. It will not hurt you. No, come back. Yeah! Fuck! I got a scan. I'm leaving. The thing with warpers is... Was that your your night? No, that's cool. The thing about... Oh, no! No! The thing about warpers is... They warp you, which means they kind of, sort of, teleport you, like... Tens of meters away from your location, and it hurts. And, uh... Yeah! Because that's fun. Uh, see, I think we're done here. Um, there's actually more light here during the day than I expected, but it would still be, you know, uh, difficult to power a habitat with solar panels here, I think. Is that a ruby? No, but it's more uraninite, so that's fine. I hate that word, uraninite. It has too many nanonites. Where is my... there you are. Uh... Yeah, so what's next on our list? That was all on our list. Blood kelp zone for rubies and life pod too. So we'll hit the hab, do some inventory management. Where's my hab? Hab? Hab. Um... We're going to hit the hab, do some inventory management, and, uh, after that, oh, we still need to find the last engine piece for the, uh, oh, there's another rendezvous point. We should do that. Um, I need to find one more engine piece to the Cyclops. And then we can make the Cyclops. And I think there are some of those over in the mushroom forest. Or at least in its vicinity. There's also, um, I'm having some severe pop-in issues here. I don't know if that's going to translate over into the, um, into the recording or not. Uh, 
Uh, anyway. Um, ow. I don't remember what I was saying. But I do need to find that, uh, thing with legit. For the Cyclops, so that I, ow, so that I can get the Cyclops started. Oh, there's, uh, boy, that's funky looking. There are lead deposits in this area, which, not lead, that's, um, lithium, lithium deposits in this area, which are easier to get to than the lithium deposits in the jelly shroom caves. So, when I do eventually go out looking for lithium, I will probably come over here and get lithium from these deposits here in the uh, mushroom forest rather than in the jelly shroom caves. And I'll probably do that off camera just because, um, well, no, that's another one of the things we did for the first time during our um, s silent era. So I might do a little bit of mining on camera with, uh, so that people who skipped all the silent videos will see it. Tragedy one day, success the next. Never give, lose hope, keep moving forward. Uh-huh. And I think that got me a sea glide. Uh, with a 99% charge. <laughs> okay, sure. Uh, sea glides are, you know, they could be helpful. I've not lost one yet, but, you know, I won't argue with free stuff. And I could probably deconstruct it and get the stuff from it. Oh yeah, Warper! Ugly little bastards, aren't they? An aggressive creature with the ability to teleport itself and others in space. No genetic crossover identified with indigenous life forms. Demonstrates no recognized defense behavior. <laughs> Defensive behavior. Head. Mechanisms located in the head region provide its warping capability, which it uses to stalk its targets. Torso. Appears to hunt other life forms, but no digestive organs have been identified. Internal structure considerably more complex than other known organisms, unable to distinguish whether organic or artificial in nature. Assessment, further research required. Nice. Now let's see if we can't find this um, engine fragment somewhere, maybe, hopefully. Oh, that's lithium. Hey, you know what? Let's grab that. What were you? Oh, spade fish. Spade fish are fine. Also tasty. Ow. Ow. I expected another owl just there, but I was lucky enough not to have one. Fantabulous. We are looking at 24 minutes. Come on, give me one fucking engine piece, please. This is how it goes sometimes. Sometimes you just find everything you need without even looking. And then other times, like this time, you can't find it anywhere. What are you? I think you're titanium. Yeah. Titanium. That looks like magnetite. Uh, that's not magnetite. That's titanium, so what's the other one? Oh, I bet this is silver. Yeah. I knew that. I was just testing you. Life forms in the region. Are you what? certain whatever you're doing is worth it? Where? I 
don't see any Leviathans. Don't scare me like that. Oh! That was one over there. I bet that was a... Uh, Reaper. That looks like a Reaper. We're going over this way. Uh-huh. Oh, I'm not going towards the Reaper. You, you shut your dirty mouth. That was my roommate egging me on to go toward the Reaper. Yes, because that's a good idea. No. It's an awful idea. Uh, Life Pod 13. Did we ever find Life Pod 13? I guess we did. Yeah. So... Welcome aboard, Captain. I'm guessing finding this damn Cyclops engine piece is going to be just a bad job. Uh, although, now that I think about it, I think there are Cyclops fragments over in the area with that um, the dunes here. I think there are Cyclops pieces over there. Uh, I have my defense system, so... Maybe we can make this work. Let's just take a quick stroll out there real quick. Just poke our nose in long enough to see if we can't get lucky. And if we get very lucky and it's bad luck that we are getting lucky with, then we can turn around and go the other way very quickly with, you know, our defense system. Oh, stop. Ah. Oh, no! What? Where? I saw them. I see the... Oh, there it is. And it's going the other way. I saw its shadow and it looked like it was right on top of us. Uh, let me hide down here and repair my uh, submersible here. There. Jesus Christ, those things are terrifying. There are no fragments in here. Although, what are you? You're a ruby. There are rubies over here. No. Leave me alone. Seek fluid intake immediately. I don't want to die today. Vital signs stabilizing. Oh, this little crater has all kinds of fucking rubies. Jesus Christ. Uh, also a little bit of lithium. Cool. Just as long as the Reaper Leviathan leaves us the fuck alone. I don't think it would be able to fit down here anymore. Is it waiting for us? Uh, kinda. Oh! Yeah. <laughs> this was a bad job. 
I don't even know where I'm going. I'm just going a way. That's salvage. I don't need salvage. I want. Is that a warper that I'm hearing? I want... You know what would probably be a better place to go for this? The Sea Treader's Path. But I'm not sure where that is. Okay, this is another part of the Blood Kelp Zone and it's fucking deep. This might be the one I was thinking of where there's an entrance to the... Uh, Lost River. Thirty one minutes. Anything scannable on the outside? I don't see it. That's okay. That's okay. I wish I could find some fucking uh, Cyclops parts. Grand Reef? I don't think Cyclops parts are in the Grand Reef. Okay, where did that... there it is. Oh yeah! That's where this is. So we're gonna call it right here. And next time... Next time we will explore this. This has been Subnautica.